What's going on, Imperials? It's Emperor Cubone here. We are back with Pokemon Sword, and I was afraid to move from that very spot in case anything happened that I, uh, like, I feel like some character is going to come and talk to us. But, uh, at last, the final match! Challenger Caleb! My adoring fans. Okay, so no one, no one's coming to talk to us. I feel kind of left out, if I'm honest. I feel like uh, my fans could be a little more adoring. But that's okay. I know they got uh, lives, they got stuff to do, that's fine. We'll uh, go by the Tims here and see if there's any items. I don't think there are. Uh, who's in front? Probably still Copperaja. I guess that's okay. Uh, upon further research, apparently you cannot use Heavy Slam in a Max Raid battle. Didn't know that. So that's why we couldn't attack Eternatus. Hey, it's Caleb! A final showdown, this is so exciting. I'm cheering for you both! No, that's not how it works. Go on, show us what you can do. Strong and noble, Caleb is the best! Please, can I have an autograph? Oh, sure. Hello! Time for the final match. Let's go, Caleb, let's go! Hello! This is the final match against the champion. This, the championship match! Are you ready to face Leon? I'm ready to beat him! Then change into your uniform and head out onto the pitch. Ooh, it's a new logo for the championship match. I kinda like it. Caleb! Beat him! Don't give up, Caleb! It hasn't started yet, why am I gonna give up? All right, Leon, let's see what you got. Surely he's not gonna start with a Charizard. If he starts with Charizard, then we're in trouble. But other than that, I think we're gonna be all right. He's just number one. My matches are always sold out, but this? I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Caleb. They know that you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Gala region. It is true, I checked the Pokedex, and uh, we have Eternatus' data, so it is ours. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokémon Zacian and Zavanzenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. It's a little premature, don't you think? Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong the champion truly is. Come on, Caleb. Let's take this. Let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar's history. No, a match that'll change Galar forever. We're gonna have an absolutely champion time. Yay! Uh, I suppose it will change because I'll be the champion now. I do hope that they keep up the thing from Sun and Moon where you don't just fight Leon again if you try a championship match, but you instead. Uh, Oh, he did the face slap thing that Huff did. But I hope there are other challengers for the championship title. Aegislash. Okay. Kaparaja can handle this. It's got Bulldoze. That doesn't make direct contact, I don't think. It's one of the duties of our champion to get the crowd fired up. He said they were already frantic. King Shield. Okay. I'm pretty sure Bulldoze doesn't make direct contact, so I think we'll be alright. Yeah, okay. We're good. Stance change, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh no, what if it's Sacred Sword? Oh no, it's Sacred Sword! <sighs> Aiming for super effective hits is a surefire way to claim victory! That did a lot more than I thought it would. I'd expect nothing less from your team. I am shocked. I thought we would have to do two hits and barely survive another Sacred Sword, if we could survive another Sacred Sword. Kaparaja, way to go. That was great. Cinderace. Cinderace, meet your match. Also known as Dreadnaw. 
one of the best turtle Pokemon. And that's saying something, because there are quite a few turtle Pokemon. Uh, I know I've been hard on Score Bunny before, but Cinderace is not a terrible final evolution. I like it much better than uh, Inteleon. Inteleon's just too thin, you know? Plus, the middle stages aren't that great for either one of them. Wow, okay. I mean, he is stronger than us. He has higher levels, but we're still one-shotting everything. Hexorus. Interesting. We might need to leave Dreadnought in. I don't know what else he's got, though. That's the problem. You know what? I will leave Dreadnought in. I know we should probably use everybody in the battle, but I don't want to, like, say use Toxtricity here. Well, that could be bad, because Haxorus might have Earthquake anyway. But I don't want to use Toxtricity here, and then, like, see? Earthquake. But he could have, like, a Pelipper, and then Toxtricity would have been perfect for that. And so if I purposefully limit myself in that manner... Okay, I don't know that we'll survive another Earthquake. But we'll try Ice Fanging anyway. So definitely don't use Toxtricity. Okay. I'm going to switch to Orbeetle. Because Orbeetle will resist said Earthquake. But Psychic will not be resisted. So... Get in there, Orbeetle. And we might be faster. I don't know. I haven't really checked this. Okay, good. We are faster. I like it. See, Orbeetle, we got you in here anyway. Toxtricity and Rillaboom leveled up. Interesting. Dragapult. Well, we... We just lost our Ice-type. Well, it's not an Ice-type, but our Ice-type move. I guess we'll just stay in with Orbeetle? I don't know. That's really weird. Shadow Ball? Oh, oh, uh-oh. Oh! Okay. Oh, Hoss Nuggets. Okay, fine. Shadow Ball again? Yeah, yeah. It looks like a big tadpole. Like, it's not threatening. Other than it's, uh... You know, stealth plane head. Uh, Colossal, I guess? I don't know. What do we do, man? Uh, Smackdown. Shadow Ball again? Okay. I mean, nobody resists Ghost. We don't have a Dark type or... A normal type, even. Okay, that's not really going to cut it, I don't think. Ooh. This ain't going well. Uh, I mean, there's no reason not to let it go down. A full restore? Are you kidding? Well, I just might use a Max Revive later on, then. If the need arises. Since we're cheating, apparently. I mean, there's literally thousands of people in this stadium. You can't tell me that a full restore is what they want to see. Um... Go to Rillaboom. Is it... Does it have, like, a choice specs? Can it only use Shadow Ball? Try Darkest Lariat. Oh, Flamethrower! Nope, no choice specs. Okay, that was a crit. Don't get caught up on critical hit. Darkest Lariat. At least we didn't get the burn. Could have been a crit burn. I'd have been so mad. Woo! Okay. Knocked it out. What is that? Half our team down? Seismitoad. 
See, this is unfortunate. I'll use a Max Potion or something. I'll pull a Leon. I'm usually very much against this sort of thing, but... We probably don't have a Max Potion, do we? Ah, we got one. It's the championship match. When, when would be a better time to use it? Because, see, back in the old days, a Hyper Potion would have solved that problem. Because it would have been 200. But, no. Not anymore. No, no, no. Back to fight. Do a drum beating. Oh, we outsped anyway. We didn't have to heal. Okay. Easily took that down. Good thing we kept Rillaboom. A barrage and Toxtricity are the only other ones left. Charizard, right, right. Okay. One of our rock types probably would have been good to keep. Didn't think about that, but uh, Toxtricity is electric, so that's almost as good. Electric is still super effective against uh, Charizard. Not finished having a champion time here. I won't let anyone do it. Okay, so Charizard definitely is ace, which means this is his last Pokemon, which means it's time to Dynamax. I'll show you what Charizard can really do. It's Gigantamax time! I couldn't see for sure, but it looked kind of like Charizard was in an Ultra Ball. In which case, how does one even catch a wild Charizard? Okay. So, ours is only Dynamax, not Gigantamax. But we do have a Luxury Ball, so we're a little more classy. Granted, this Pokemon was a gift, if you want to get technical, but... The power of rock! Uh, okay. Rock move. Interesting choice. Does it know Rock Slide? Now you you, you just kicked up a sandstorm that your Charizard will be hurt by? Are you an idiot? That was great. One more of those and we'll be done. Also, electric terrain. That's good. Yeah, buffeted by the sandstorm because you're an idiot. You can't use the Raihan strategy. Okay, another rock fall. This is fine. We can survive that. All right. So I think we did use everybody. Yeah, we did. Some of them uh, didn't do a whole lot, just kind of died, but that's fine. We won! We are the champions of the world. We beat Leon! Ha! <laughs> Look at his hat. Unbeatable champion, my foot! My time as champion is over! But what a champion time it's been! Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had! It's There's also a sandstorm that's raging and everyone's dying. Can you please do something about that? Okay, so uh, we're the champion. I imagine we'll talk to Leon and then hop and then go back home to see her mom. Maybe credits. It is an Ultra Ball. Where do you get an Ultra Ball that... Oh, that's confetti. Oh, our mom is here. Of course our mom is here. Why would she not? Congratulations, Caleb. You beat the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become the first. I offer my heartfelt congratulations. I'm on TV. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving the here and now for the sake of all that's to come. And you, Caleb. 
What you ought to do is believe it yourself and you partner Pokemon in order to create a bright future we all hope to see. Marnie and Beatty and Hop. People of Galar, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Caleb! I feel... Okay. I bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength could be. I sure can't. Let's watch, watch and see what he can do. Yeah. So how long until the apparel shop starts selling my jersey? Oh, Pokemon Sword logo again. Hey, here we go. Credits. Okay, this will give me time to talk. Because I wanted to say... What did I want to say? I can't remember. <laughs> Look at that band. Rillaboom and Toxtricity playing. That's awesome. Not sure why Obstacles in front. I guess it is le like a literal kiss thing. Like he's supposed to be Gene Simmons in the lead spot singing. Is that my Rillaboom and Toxtricity? I hope it is. I mean, they've earned it. They were two of the three survivors, anyway. Uh... What was I gonna say? I don't remember. Something about our rivals that were there. Anyway. Um, I have enjoyed this. I have. I've enjoyed Pokemon Sword. However, for the first time in my life, I think maybe I have regretted the choice of version this time around. Because never before have I regretted it. I don't regret Diamond. I don't regret uh, Y version, I don't regret Sun, but I feel like Shield maybe was the better choice, because I, I liked Z Zamazenta better from the very beginning, when they first revealed the two mascot legendaries, and, you know, I looked through some of the version exclusives that I couldn't get, and I, I think Sword doesn't have the ones that I prefer, like Galarian Ponyta is only in Shield. Ice Q is only in Shield. Instead, I got Stone Turner, which took forever to find, but I finally got one. I mean, I can trade for those things, but still. And the gym leaders, like, okay, I like B as a gym leader. I like B better than Alistair, actually. But B and Gordy, I do not like as much as a unit as compared to Alistair and Melanie was her name, I think, right? The ice type gym leader that was in shield instead of the rock type one that was in sword so i think i would have enjoyed the gym leader challenge better in uh, shield as well so and i can't like fix it because there's not going to be a third version there's just going to be the dlc which you know i know every game out there is doing dlc stuff and maybe it is better than a third version that doesn't change a whole lot it just changes some stuff, like the Ultra games, but I don't know. I am excited for it. It, uh, just the general release schedule has me excited because it's more year-round than waiting an entire year for brand new Pokemon, like the past several years has been. Because for the past three or four years, at the very least, it's been every November there's a new Pokemon game. And maybe like a side game in between maybe but now there's going to be pokemon in june of this year brand new pokemon that's compatible with sword and shield and all that and there's going to be uh if they said in the fall i'm imagining it's also in november because they're not going to have the Sinnoh remix this year they're just not for people expecting them to be this year they're not going to have two giant DLC expansion packs for the brand new games, and also another second set of brand new games. So, try 2021 for Sinnoh remakes. But they are going to come. I have no doubt. Even if it's not this generation, if they pull a Gen 5, like, uh, where they only had Black and White and Black and White 2 and no remakes, they could do that. But... Even so, there will be Sinnoh remakes coming out on the Switch eventually. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Mostly for me. Ah, it's a bunch of Wooloo. Here's a straggler. The end. 
Okay. I mean, it's not. But you didn't even catch the mascot legendary. Which is strange. Because that's usually, like, primary game material. I mean, it... Oh, here we go. Back in the slumbering world. Oh, it just showed it. I wasn't actually there. Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom. Oh, it's Professor Magnolia! Congratulations, champion. Here, I've got a little something for you, a celebration. The Master Ball! I didn't even realize we didn't have the Master Ball. I thought we did. Professor Magnolia, why didn't you... you why, well, you didn't have to come all this way. After everything Caleb has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamax impossible are parts of Eternatus. And when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble across all of Galar. But Caleb and his friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamax incorrectly in the days to come. So, young Caleb, please do what you do. Please do what you believe is best. I will, Professor Magnolia. Don't you worry. Thanks for coming to my match, Mom. Poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the researching into Dynamaxing for him. The Master Ball's guaranteed to catch any Pokemon in one try, right? That's amazing! I bet you'll run into a Pokemon that'll deserve such an amazing Pokeball one of these days. Uh, probably a Shiny. Not gonna waste it on the Legendary that I can easily catch with any other kind of ball. I imagine Hop will want to talk to us now. Hey, Badoo, I'm the champion! I forgot how great this looks over here. Because there's literally no reason to come back. Uh, we'll hop on our bike real quick. Go here. To the... Uh, Wedgehurst station. The train to the Isle of Armor has arrived! Those with an armor pass, please board the train! She's got an armor pass. What's up, girl? Do you have an armor pass? <laughs> of course. I totally have one. Please allow me to check your pass. Ah, there's that slowpoke. Slow. Oh, a slowpoke! Uh-oh, looks like another one's gotten onto the train and ridden from the Isle of Armor. Here we go! Slow? You're Pokemon Trainer, right? If Slowpoke blocks the ticket gate, it'll cause trouble for other customers. Slowpoke are actually pretty heavy, so do you think you could catch it for me? It's not like a Snorlax, you can just step over it. Battle in order to catch it. See, here's the thing. What level is this Slowpoke? Because I might kill it in one hit if I try and battle it. It's level 12. Okay, we're gonna... We're just gonna throw a Pokeball at it. <laughs> oh, no! It broke free! Confusion? Really? <laughs> <laughs> it did one damage. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's get this Pokeball. Maybe we should have tried a Quick Ball. Too late now. There we go. Went from not even shaking to being caught. <laughs> Very little experience. Um... Let's see the summary. 
own tempo. Wait, it's just pure psychic. Growl, acid, yawn, psychic, or confusion, I mean. So, this is Galarian Slowpoke. We don't yet know uh, how it will evolve. There's specific items, they said, in the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra that will evolve this Pokemon. I've always preferred Slow Bro in their standard states, but uh, I don't know. We'll see about the Galarian forms. I'm hesitant. But we'll send it to the box for now. Thanks much. Slowpoke can be a big trouble and to move sometimes. Wow, amazing. The way you caught that Slowpoke was the absolute coolest. We apologize for the wait. We have checked your armor pass. All aboard the train to the Isle of Armor. Mind your step when boarding. Please be aware that there will be a connection along the way. Really? Is that true for the uh, actual game as well? Okay. I'm heading to a place called the Isle of Armor. I'm going to catch some rare Pokemon and do some training. Let's hang if we meet up again, okay? Bye-bye then. See ya. Oh, we'll hang. Don't you worry. We'll hang the entire time I'm in the Isle of Armor. You can even come with me to the Crown Tundra if you want, but I don't imagine it's your scene. I was wondering why we didn't uh, get a Pokedex update for Slowpoke, but then I realized uh, it's not in this Pokedex yet. It's only going to be in the expansion part of the Pokedex. So, there you have it. We've become the champion and caught a Galarian Slowpoke. So be sure to answer the Inquisition down in the comments. Also, be sure to leave a like, share this video, and subscribe so that you too can become an Imperial today. And we'll see you around next time.